Miki Sovorakis was born on 29th of July 1925 on the island of Hios. He was named after the Archangel Michael, who his mother believed always healed the frequently sick young Mikis. His early influences were Byzantine music. He would chant in the Greek Orthodox Church from the tender age of seven and by 12 had begun at music lessons where life changed the day he heard Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Not long after, Greece was scourged by the German occupation, and it was during this time that Mikis wrote his first songs. At only 15, he was over six foot tall and went to join the resistance. Deeming him too young, they sent him home. Only two years later, though, he attacked an Italian officer and was consequently jailed. While in jail, Mikis was indoctrinated in Marx's theories. He wasted no time once he was released and promptly joined the communist resistance. He worked during the day and fought the Germans at night. In 1943, he went to Athens to study at the conservatory and to join the Greek People's Liberation Army, or ELAS, Ethnikos Laikos Epelefteritikos Stratos, the military arm of the left-wing National Liberation Front. During the ensuing civil war, his involvement in Elas found him arrested, beaten and jailed, tortured and even buried alive. After the war, he moved to Paris to further his studies at the conservatory, where he was soon being called the new Stravinsky. It was here that he penned his first international film score for Ill Met by Moonlight whose title song, The Honeymoon, was later recorded by the Beatles. He also scored for the ballet Antigone, performed in London's Covent Garden, starring Rudolf Nureyev and choreographed by Australia's John Cranko. He then returned to his beloved Greece and developed his sound. Metasymphonic music, symphony mixed with Greek popular instruments. He teamed the sound with the poetry of Yorgos Feris, Yanis Eritsos and Odyssea Silitis, it was a breakaway success. In 1964, his yeah. most famous composition, Zorba the Greek, breathes life. Its impact was worldwide and even resulted in hordes of tourists now flocking to the Greek islands to recreate the final scene. The composition at Zorba the Greek has since appeared in over 200 discographies. Mickey's politics, though, remained a central part of his life, and when the junta emerged in Greece in 1967, Theodorakis was spouted public enemy number one. His music was banned from radio, and records were confiscated from the shops. Just owning a Theodorakis record could get you sent to jail. He was imprisoned and then under house arrest for three years before finally being allowed to leave for Paris on April 13, 1970. Once in Paris, he recorded 10 albums of compositions he had completed while under arrest and even scored one of Al Pacino's most famous films, Serpico. Amongst his many amazing subsequent achievements were the Lenin Peace Prize in 1983 and a Lifetime Achievement Award bestowed on him by Putin. He now lives in retirement, reading, writing and publishing arrangements of his scores. His mark on modern Greek history, both musical and political, is undeniable. But he will always be remembered for the melody that the world over, the second the opening bars are played, no matter what nationality, the room stands up and yells, Opa. Opa.